producer slash co-host, Mr. Albert Sosa, Wildcat Insiders, Mr. Sam Castro, Mr. Alan Sanchez, and taking us back to the old school, y'all know his name, y'all know his number, number 51, Brian Pettis. Last but not least, providing technical support, Double J. Well, we're, 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 we
Once again, the, the our courageous Ridge fighting Rockets took on the Red Mountain Tigers. Um, the outcome wasn't what we all wanted, but it was good to see uh, Friday Night Lights back in front Color Stadium. It's always great to see the community come together. Uh, you know, here in Parizzo or any small town that you, you go to a football game, you can't go 10 steps without running into somebody that you knew or know and you stay there talking with them. And that's what it's all about. Small town, everybody knows each other. Uh, on Friday nights, you know, getting together for, for that. Like I said, unfortunately, the Wildcats didn't come out with the win, but there were a lot of positives. What you saw in this game, though, is they wouldn't give up, especially offensively. He does as well. Uh, and the thing was that, that when things went bad for Martin Ray Martin, it seems like they had open play. There were several times when they had mishandled balls bouncing all over the place, and kind of the Wildcat defense froze because of that. I don't know what they were doing. That opened up a run for number two, who had all four touchdowns. So, but you know, like this kid really helped them. Go where is going in? Like, to a, we're a small town, right? Laredo is a larger, way larger town, so they they, they metropolitan, right? They, so the they can't have. Um, they're they're changing the kegs for the other one, like, but the it's hard. I don't care what you we were. That number two. Uh, Dean Blomanville. Dean Blomanville. Blomanville. Yeah, I don't know how you forgot that I was saying it all the time. The way Kira was saying it. You know, Dean Blomanville, I could see him playing D2. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's cool. You know, playing at a good school. Open Man, he, he, the, somewhere. So it's, it's like, it's, it's like this. Anytime that you're playing a, a, a team, whether it's your team or an opposing team, they more than likely have that one big dog, the workhorse. And Dan Blossomville was what their workhorse. You know what? Going back to the support from the fans and everybody, we need, you, said, you said it earlier, as, as good as, as Martin, the Riddle Martin knew that kid was, they, they really didn't have many fan support over there. Like I said earlier, I was at the visitor's contingent thing because I am a band dad, and I always had to work the first half. So there really wasn't many fans from the north over there. I did see a lot of people from our visitors from the north, like scouting our kids because they want to buy them. But the, the support yeah. from the fans, you want to come see something. The, the, the support from the fans, the support from the fans wasn't there. Like I was seeing, like I saw from the other side, our seats were full. I think what happened. I think what happened, I think what happened, what happened was they played the Red Lakes the week before, and that's kind of the robbery cycle. If you would play the team for the Lord the first week of the of, of, uh, season, and then you you go win, you know, the next week you have to try to get it back together for uh, exactly trial for another game. Well, the Cats never gave up. The Cats, you know, every time whatever happened, the offensive came back, Mark Mullen stepped up, had a good run. He had an electrifying offense, by the way. He had a couple of electrifying runs that, even from the press box, and, and from what we were saying on the play by play, after I listened to it, I could hear the crowd roar when Marky would take off on his runs down the sideline, not getting out of bounds, which could get hurt. Get hurt. You, you, you don't see that on the court back more. He has nothing to lose. You know, lower that shoulder and Marky punish the defense. Marky yeah. yeah. had the one and held the one muscle to the right He passed for one, one TD, ran for a couple more. You, you, and, you and I, everybody up here, this, uh, uh, as part of this group knows, that it could be from the PV level all the way up to the NFL level. If you do that week in and week out, it's really rare that you're going to make it to the end of the season. You really got to pick and choose when you do that. Yeah. And to me, it, it's, it's all good, it's all fun, and it's all cool to watch. But if you're doing that in a district game, you're fighting for your team because it means something. And not in a, not in a, we won't, we won't talk about that. The games that aren't district, yeah, man, they're, they're cool to win. They're cool to win. You, you get a bunch of losers. It's cool. But when you really got to put forth every single ounce of desire that you have, you, you save it for this one. So, He's a competitor. Wow. He's a competitor. You're down. You're down. Uh, right now. So you're down. You're down. You're down. You're down 14 0. What are they down? 14 0. You know, you. Somebody has to step up and say, hey, I'm going to play, I'm not going to give up. And I think that's what he did. I think he decided, I'm going to try and do my best. And what he else wants to 
Well, you know, that's, that's part of being a quarterback. You know, quarterback out there should be the leader. Yes, the team. Right here. If you got right here. Everybody, if you're weak, uh, everybody on your back. Right. And trying to do what you need to do. But, I you know, agree with you. There's a lot of times that you step over or get down to take the hit. You can, you can slide and go out of bounds. You know what? I noticed, though, I know we're talking about uh, lowering your head down and all that stuff. For the past few years, we had a, remember, we, I know we talked about this last week uh, on the podcast, but we've mentioned it about leadership, about the kids, with our seniors right now, and uh, I, I, what I did notice, and so I mentioned this earlier, about the kids not giving up, I noticed uh, in the past few, three, four, five years, the majority of our kids, not all of them, because we had some good leaders in the past, every time they were down, a touchdown, two touchdowns, they were just, it, you could tell their attitude yeah. out of the field, was that a, you know what it's, it's over and done? We're used to this. And all that. It, wasn't, it wasn't like this. The kids kept on fighting, kept on fighting on that. We're down twenty something to, to six or twenty something to eight, and our kids didn't give up. They kept on fighting. They kept on pushing, and that's that's exactly the kind of attitude that we need. I mean, it's positive. Well, Wildcat Nation has so many positive and so many things to look forward to because half of that group. Both offense and defense are sophomores. Young team. We got a very, very young team. Most of the defense is starting sophomores. Most of the starting defense. So, and then it, it's, it's not that it's just that they're young, but they're tough. You know, that, that defense, if you look at the defense, the way they played against Dizzy and the defensive game that they played, yeah, they, they scored 31 points, okay. But they have a horse. And they're one that have a horse, but. Other than that, the defense really stepped up. They got a lot of stops. You know, they gave us a lot of chance to try to put the force on the board. But, you know, just some things didn't happen. And you know what? I was talking to a buddy in a, a pizza, but I like to go with the pizza. Every once in a while. I can tell. <laughs> but he was saying, you know what? This, this game, uh, in the past few years, there's a few kids that, you know, we would lose. We lose. They would be out there happy, taking selfies. This, it wasn't like that. This, this game. Our kids were actually really bummed out because of them. I mean, they were. So you can tell that in itself, the passion that some kids have to so, I don't know if that's going to tell you a story at the end of the game. I love stories, Sam. I love stories. Know, track, my kid, you know, every time, right, comes up to me and he's balling. And he's like, Dad, we, we're better than these, this team. We, we should have had this game. And in my words, I mean, I didn't know what to say. I was like, you know, they get this, you know, it's a pre district game. You know, just take from it what you can, learn from it, and then move on to the next game. But he's like, we should have had this game. We've been working so hard, we should have had this game. It's like, they, they want to win every single game. Which is good. It's what you want. You know, and for them to be, for them to be that emotional about it, if you look at some of the other players that were sitting, talking to their family and their parents, a lot of the players were upset. They were really sad about losing them off. The second game of the season. I mean, they're one for one. The second game in the three district games. -district and game. they were very emotional about it. So that just gives you an idea as to what they want and what they expect from the themselves. The mentality is yeah. changing. It's changing because nobody, I don't care how, how long you've gone to a losing season. If you've ever played any kind of sports, I don't think anybody has ever laced up their shoes saying, man, we're going to lose this. That's, that's what I'm, I'm talking about, what Marky was doing. I think, yeah. you know, being a senior, he's thinking, hey, this is, these are my last 10 games of my could be life. So we had a total of 131 yards offensively. 131 yards? Yeah, 68 yards passing and 63 yards rushing. You know, and some electrifying runs, so those two runs that we talked about where he never bounced out of, out of, out of balance or you know, he was bouncing off of the but he would stop. And then the electric run where he was supposed to be sacked, he made a move, you know, broke some ankles, as they say nowadays, and he took it, took it over to the left side all by himself and, and kind of scored in the corner. Uh, that's him being all by himself. But that goes, you know, we talked about this year after year after year. Anytime the running back or the quarterback does good, where does it start? Oh, but in that run, right. he was going to be sacked. It was two right. guys, broke through both of them, right. broke in another one, and 
and Langdon was the Langdon do their job. Yeah, yeah. Give everybody else. Yeah. Give him some time to throw, which he had some time. To, he had some, some good time to throw in this game. We call that the trenches, baby. The trenches. It starts with the trenches. That I mean, when he had those 60, 60 yard, when 63 yards passing, um, he had some time to throw. Yeah. Uh, so that's why he connected on. Uh, it was he was eight for twelve, you know, and two of them were bad balls. So he, I mean, he's he doing pretty good passing. So he had time to throw. Yeah, yeah, the, the thing is, we started off the show, we talked about that number two, number two, number two from, from the real market, but it's looking at things at different perspectives. For me, you know, we don't have a horse. We have a group of horses. We yeah, have, we've got a lot of talent. Yes, they've got some good players, but you're talking about Austin Nelson, you're talking about, um, uh, you know, um, it's, it's like, you know, we're not going that's just the offense. I think that if we were able to utilize a little bit more of that talent of those players, you got, you got a lot of talent. One thing that we got to remember as fans is nobody likes the Nobody likes the loss. But we have to remember these are new coaches coming in that are earning the kids. They've only had a certain amount of time to be with them. But it's, it was only the second game. So I would rather go into the third game going 1-1 one one versus 0-2. Yeah, you know, we don't have horse, we have stable. Now, all the things, 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 all I don't think I had ever been so enthusiastic about watching the defense go out there. Every time I see him go out there, I'm like, man, these kids, I want to see what he's got. We have a young defense, yeah. <laughs> we have a fast defense, and we have a strong defense, you know, so I kind of feel like in our district, I don't think there's a defense that can match up to, to what the Cats can do. I think if we get clicking on offense a little bit more, you know, when they start to run a little bit mis misdirection plays and things like that, it started to work out. They fell behind. And maybe we ran out of time, but they actually started to play really well. But I think the defense will keep them in this game. Good, man. I'm not excited. They put the young coming games and the district games. Very excited. I think the defense will give them a chance to put the points in. The defense, to me, is, is the lighter, is the spark. Because the more the defense does their job and makes big hits, everybody gets fired up. Not only, not only the crowd, because I'm a big, now my days, you know, we're the crowd now. So when the crowd fired up, why are they fired up? Because the defense did the crowd. And you know what? I'm old fashioned, you know what? I'm using that old thing, I'll come with games. Defense, Let me give you some defensive statistics. Senior and Wendell Fowler have 13 total tackles. 11 of those are solos in this game. And he was all over the place. You also had uh, Oscar Biseño, who had four solo tackles, one for a sack. You know, the deep sack that he made a lot of loss of yards and uh, two assists. And you also had uh, JP Jonathan, JP Jonathan, JP Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan. Uh, he blew up a couple of plays there. And also, uh, uh, Seven Water, which I had mentioned earlier. Yeah, they broke up that one play. Number nine, David Castro. Number yeah, nine, David Castro. Right there. Yeah, seven tackles. We actually have one of the defensive players here. Maybe he was up to the end of the only thing we give our credit card. Uh, I think you should say something. I think you should say something about the defense. Tell us something about the Cavs. Do you want to think about that or not? We're not here. We would like to hit and cross our face here. There you go. Sounds good. Now get the credit card. This man just said if you cross your, your face, you're going to regret it. Big. Spend as much money as you want on that credit card. You're just going to walk off. You heard it. Like, you didn't even look back. The second you hit a home run, you walk off. Yo, this man didn't even look back. He just got the car. And I'm gone. Give me some money. I still want to have to say, you know what? You don't want to trust me. That's what you want. Guys, we're going to take our first commercial break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Live from 5D 
big shout out. A big shout out to our sponsor, our platinum sponsor, record sponsor, Smoke and Deep Competition Barbecue. Yeah! I tell you what, I tell you what, I've been to a lot of cook-offs before, and I've tried some food. Yes. There's no comparison, man. We got Rick, who's a master pit master, pit master. and Brian, who I don't think I've ever seen anybody keep that fire going the way Brian does. Hey, unfortunately, he's also a whiskey connoisseur, so he's always got us hey. kind of stripping, you know? Hey, 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 that's, 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 that's Brian's gas. You know, a diesel, right? That man is on fire. A lot of the way back, and then that's a good one. Oh my God! Is he misdirection? He has a misdirection. He's a mistaken nature. So let's also give shout out to our other sponsors that we have. We have some Matthew signs from Money Graphics. Graphics. Nice here. Look at some of these bigs here. Uh, we do have. Yo, did you just say the bigs? We have. Man, man. Oh, oh, you're right. Right. Let me oh, give you so another, another, school, so another platinum sponsor. Hey, check out this one. Uh, Middle Rio Grande Development Council 911. They provide a lot of services. They provide a lot of services. They, they get all the, the first responders to act where they gotta go. But it's a tough job. You know, you gotta put up with people that are panicking, people that are that are in dire straits. So, so shout out to all the first responders out there, to the 911 people. Yes, sir. If they can't help you, nobody can help yeah. you. Yeah. Middle Rio Grande Development Council 911 department. All of this, yes, you know, anytime that anybody in the Montana region calls 911, it's, it, it's because of their map and their, their, the product that they've done. The GPS. You know, I'm going to change it up. I'm going to ask a question. Uh -oh. My homie, Mr. Sosa, was able to attend that LSE Texas game yes, this weekend. Uh, Tell us a little bit about that game. Wait, wait, what? I mean, that's going to go on into the conference. So I want to know about these. Period. You know, the game, we don't have to score. I don't know about so something else. It, it took me back to when I was in college that I wish I was still there now. But uh, for one, we, were at the, we went to the tailgates, and my, my job, we had a, a whole tailgate. So we were there, and we had some food, and we had some, like, some drinks that were drinks. Anyway, so no, 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 hold on, hold on. Why did you look at the table and make sure your wife was gone before you said you were yeah, still there? Yeah. Anyway, you got it. You know why? Because he's a smart man. Yeah. So anyway, so we, we did that, and then um, once, once it was about an hour before kickoff, uh, we decided to start walking over there. So we start walking over there, and you click through all these different, these different uh, tokens where people are offering the food. Hold on, sir. I think it's great. This is this this why everybody should come steakhouse. to buy the steakhouse. Shout out good. to the pizza the start before the night. A big shout out to Charlie. Charlie, the manager who always has said from the very beginning, hey, I want to be a part of that. You know, I want to be a part of that. I feel like he's going to go for the duty. Not only Charlie, but a big shout out also to Rick. The I think was in the crowd. Hey, hey, poor Bears. Bears. Poor guy. Poor guy. Hey, we'll talk about that one later. We'll talk about that one. I got some stuff on that one later. We do our picks. We're going to go real quick by that segment with the Bears. But we digress there. Um, yeah, anyway, so I knew walking back, we were giving them any more offers, food, drinks, everything. I would do that. And there's people from LSU, people from Texas, you know, walking, walking. And I'm like, I think I've got to get to the game here. You know, I'm going to make it. <laughs> you know, so we kept walking, we kept walking. So then I heard the music playing. So we saw a crowd, and it was like a couple of bands, and we just walked by that. We got to the stadium. Later, I came to find out that was Mitten. The band Mitten, you know, um, drinking problem. Burnout. They were playing there. They were playing right there. I thought I love them saying that. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so anyway, we missed that. So uh, we, we went to the stadium. And then they have a Hall of Fame out there at the team. If you walk into the stadium, uh, they have a Hall of Fame where they have all their, their rewards. Uh, statues, they have statues out there with you. Uh, Bebo. Uh, what was there? Bebo. Uh, Kevin Durant. Um, Bebo, Bebo. Why, why don't they have Kevin Durant on a football game? Well, he does have a football game. He did one year there. He was only one year? I mean, uh, they took him deep into the, the left, into the turn. So, anyway, well, they have the golf championship team that these were last year. Kevin. Jordan Speed. I don't know if I'm going to say that. I just want to know, do they have a statue of Matt McConaughey there? Uh, 
an Asian American gentleman, Kevin Wong, I can't pronounce his They don't need the trophy. He's 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 he went to the pro on TV. He graduated for UT alum. He's doing pro. He helped them win a championship match in Los Angeles. For golf. Well, you know, the long ball score short, but you know, man. It was a great game. I know he's the coach. All right, all right. The fly was the coolest thing I had ever seen in my life. They flew over and they didn't do that. I thought Mr. Spock did that in China. Okay, back on schedule. We're going to jump back into uh, last week's game between the Loretta Martin Tigers and North Fighting Wildcats. Guys, let's go over who we think is our favorite game. We'll start with For me, you know what? I really like what I saw on special teams, but. Marquis, to me, Marquis was the first game. That pass we had to the option, and then the run that he had, and it's just, you know what, he was like the, the leader. You know how they say Monday morning quarterback and all that stuff. Marquis was the leader in this game, and he, he stepped it up, even though they were down, he went out there and he, he got some tough head earlier. He didn't go out and out, he stayed him down, and he cut the, the ball in and slowly pulled him and after that guy. So for me, Marquis is my third game. Number 51, Brian Pettis. Uh, Pettis reminds me who, what, what number is he? Dave Jones was back in the day. 42, correct? 42, yeah. All right, who's this for a finger? Oscar. 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 Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick Oscar with Samuel on that. Being that, of course, David Jones broke in as a freshman, a phenomenal. I was a senior as a freshman. Linebacker coming in, the speed and power. Oscar with Samuel brings that, that, that fierce, competitiveness to come in here and y'all saw that second in He's fast, he's strong. One player stood out, he was trading. He was actually trading a player. And he dove over two, two defenders. They were blocking our ball catcher. He's on the ground. He got over two defenders and dove at that running back from behind. I didn't, he didn't catch him, I just picked him up. But he dove across. Two people. The tackle was big, though. The tackle was big. He two two tackles, but he's still weak. He's got no fear for his body. Man. He's going to throw himself and he's going to make that tackle. So I'm going to go with number 42 after the same other time. For this game tonight. For Christ's sake. David Jones? Is he just a lot of David Jones? Uh, uh, David Jones is an all-state. Uh, he's a lot I thought he was a singer. Uh, uh, I thought he was a singer. I thought he was a singer. I thought he was a Nah, David Jones. He's uh, my cousin. He's my cousin. He's my cousin. He's my cousin. Yeah. What's that? 98? 92. 92, yeah. They don't. Dan? You know, it's going to be tough for me. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Anthony behind. You know, Nathan, you know, we'd like to see you come back with those of you. You made a post that you're going to be on the next 12 weeks. And take your time to get better. And but uh, we're just hanging in there. You know, be out there and ship for your boys. Because they will do the same for you. And you ran a lot of them. You know, you're going to be out there and ship for your boys. You ran a lot of them. Injury tactics and then the football field. So, shout out to Nathan, you know, hope everything is up to you. Well, so the senior did well and come back. Hope you get to see that. For me, you know, you know, the Tigers put up 31 points, you know, but I still, I guess I'm biased for the defense, you know, and the player that stood out to me that actually stepped it up would be Santos Sonora. At the end of the game, he's that that young guy that makes him play. You know, doing really good, you know, but um, I just I think the defense is going to be good. I think that, you know, they've got a lot of speed. They have a lot of youth. They have a lot of talent. The character for me to be one of the players to be. And I think I was going to go with, I had two people to pick from, but one was second to one because a lot of times I saw him reading the offense and what he did. And that, especially that first thing, he broke another play, uh, by the way, but this thing with Sam Pick, said, you know what I'm going to go with? J.P. John? Uh, what he did was in the safety, you know, he was the one kind of struck the whole thing. I, mean, see, I saw, I saw, I'm like, I saw like the one flash by. I said, wait a minute, he's number one, and I saw him number 11. But I think he, he kind of struck the quarterback trying to get out there. And then I think, uh, I think it was the senior who actually sacked the game long then. Yeah, I think it was. But I think John had something to do with that. Uh, so I, I'm going to pick J.P. John for that one. For getting the house. Getting the house. He did exactly. He did his he job. Maintained. He didn't get the credit, which I mean, you know, because you didn't make the safety, but he did his job, and that kind of helped the other player, the other Wildcats, uh, get his his. Well, there's his another, there's another defensive lineman, Jesse Walker. Yeah, Jesse Walker. Yeah, he did. 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 He did.
<laughs> but you know, you know, like if, if you go to the game and being at the stadium or being a player, there's a lot of times that your name and names have not been announced. But that defensive line, the, the secondary, the, the linebacker group, they all did their job. I'm gonna have to go get my MVP in the one in the top. I mean, he stepped up and, and played me to be made. Um, last year he started off strong and, and he's continued on. So uh, this year, well, this game, in the one of is my MVP. Um, the whole defense stepped up. The, the score may not show that, but bottom line, uh, they showed it. And you know what? I'm talking about that D line. All the four hours played on the big run. Nothing was down the middle. Everything was on the outside. Nothing was down the middle. And that shows a lot of respect for that whole team on the defense. Can I say something real quick? Yeah. Honorable yeah. mention. My honorable mention is going to be Little Dynamite. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those guys that I was a player at one time and I announced and I like to get fired up just the way anybody else does. So when somebody makes a big play or makes, makes a big play, period, and you get up and you show enthusiasm to pump your teammates up, not only you do that, you pump the cross, you pump the answer, just everybody's pumped up by your, your level. And when you're playing at a higher level, you know, consistently, it, it, you can't help but rub off. You can't rub off in everything. Yeah, and we talked about it being a young team, but a little dynamite again. We have seen the senior. That's senior leaders to play. Marcy, Marcy's senior. That's senior leaders to play. That's the right one, Thomas. That's what you want to see. You want to see them seniors come out here, play the hard cast, and that is the only thing that makes the other team, the rest of the team better. That foundation, building blocks, that's at the very bottom. You have to have a foundation for a program. But all kids, all kids are really good. You can have all that discussion and you know, talent, but they have to have direction. And I think that comes from the senior. They're inspiring you. And that makes, it makes it talk more to look and say, wait a minute, I can be whatever I am, but I gotta make sure I do my job. Like I said, like the said, John kid, where he's just doing his job. That's all he's doing. He's a senior too. Yeah, they're not gonna run that way, so he can take that. They do their job. That's what you're supposed to do. I don't put that other than that kid at work. He has a big, big, big heart. Just like that, the heart is where the ball team. Oh, I get the You know what? I'm going to start with Cross Country. Uh, we didn't have a meet last weekend. Uh, so this weekend we are going to be traveling to uh, Eagle Pack. So they did win though two or three weeks ago. They ran, I know they ran in, uh, they ran in the city, but they ran in the first. They ran in Dubai uh, also, and they also got first place. Boy, the boys, the varsity boys. The girls managed to get second place uh, in Christmas that week as well. So, I mean, it's a really good thing that Valerio is coaching. Uh, coaching is Valerio's dad and, and Valerio Cruz, uh, Andrea, she's uh, the head coach, uh, the head prospect coach. Uh, so, yeah, she's been there for quite a while. So, uh, it's, it's a program. It's, it's like the same building. Hey, but you know what? It's, 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 kind of, it's kind of a good thing that, you know, football's going to come around. It took a while for the cross country and the water bumper. But man, they're they're operating on all cylinders right now. They're they're talking to the town right now. Yeah, it's it's tough then, man. It's going out there watching, and you know what? Some of these kids both are in the band, so they're they're performing. They're marching at halftime. They don't get home. I mean, that town we've got to go to the board over the weekend. So they're gonna be home at what midnight, twelve morning, one o'clock in the morning, waking up in the morning, go run and get back. So the bus because the bus has to leave at five six o'clock in the morning. So we have to travel. Regardless. So, I mean, that in itself is just worth dedication. Yeah, good. Okay. And small ball, but it's a little bit more. 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 But it's a little Eagle Pass, uh, the Eagles. I think they were down to 0 2 0 2. They were down 0 2, and they ended up winning 3 2. 
we so create a free spirit. So for me, the one block in the middle, the output factor, and I always thought this is really good for the offseason program because you know what, you can't win when you're a seasonal player. You have to have an offseason offset. And a lot of these girls are on on perfect. I've heard parents take them here to keep them to San Antonio, all these one blocks, and they have to play them very, very well at this tournament. So you guys don't really show that they have to win and yeah, one, of, one of the things I want to mention is this is the time of year where football starts. So, yeah, high school football, college football, and NFL, but on the high school level, especially here in the region, you know, guys get out there and support the volleyball team. You know, get out there and watch these kids run and talk to them. You know, it's just, you know, get to football, everybody loves volleyball football, but, you know, let's, let's uh, show some support, show some love. For the volleyball team and, and the basketball kids because they're doing the work. Man, you know, for the band, you know, you hear about the whole thing here, the whole thing here, but you know, they're still they're still putting the work in and, and out there and all kinds of volleyball. Band, they don't think so. Nine o'clock in the morning, the NBA team is out there and all kinds of volleyball. So it's a great time to be out there and support your team. You know, it's not the time that's the only day that you're going out there. So it's, it's the hottest part of the day that these kids are going out there. Yeah, so we went out there to the, to the, uh, to the freshman game in Martin. Those kids were running after the game, so they were out there running at 7 8 o'clock in the afternoon. But some of these kids are going out here and running at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. 5 o'clock in the afternoon. 180 feet. And what time? <coughs> 5 o'clock. <laughs> So let's give a shout out. Let's give a shout out to the volleyball players across the country, the cheerleaders. Cheerleaders are out there working hard, trying to keep everybody entertained during the football. You know, the football game. You know, it's just support. Not, 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 not you brought that up. The cheerleaders. You know, I've been announcing for a long time. Last time we had only a certain amount of time that we could do each each thing for regarding extracurricular activities. Game. And I was given the cheerleading task. 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 And I felt like I needed the time that the home team I think there's 17 or 18 17. girls that are, that are part of the, the group now. I heard you. I heard you now. And I was trying, man. I was like, sophomore. Right. I'm Sanchez. Freshman. Freshman. Alan Sanchez. <laughs> Senior, Sam Gaston. <laughs> Mascot, Brian. Y'all know his name. Y'all know by the cat now. Brian, Brian Fingers. Fingers. That, that's what it's all about, though. Everybody's participating. And with the activity that are going on right now with the winning of the volleyball group, the volleyball, the volleyball cross country, at all levels, you know, it, it's starting now. These girls are not going to want to lose that that momentum that's going on. But guys, with that, we're going to take our first, our second commercial break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Season four, episode three, five deep steakhouse. Yeah, five. Our sponsor. Let me give a shout out, big shout to our platinum sponsor, Smoky D. Mr. Richard Alcote, Mr. Brian Davis, and the other guys from Smoky D's. We really want to thank you for supporting Purple Rain Sports, hooking us up, and what we got out here. Hey, but you know what? Rick, 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 Rick and his crew started last year with us. And, and you can't say enough about, you know, his support. He sees, you know, everything that's going on. He wants to kind of get in on it. And he, and he has. And he's not only supported us, but he shows up. He just doesn't give us the money. He shows up. You know what I mean? He wants to donate and he wants to come and see his his money get to work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, joy, hey, joy, joy. Joy. 
one more journey, Rick. We're going to stretch it out. We're going to stretch it out. We're going to stretch it out. Hey. But the thing is, the man on the horse has to go a shot. You see, they were recording, but hey, man, you know, all, all the things in the world to smoke and eat, accomplish and barbecue, uh, we wish y'all the best. Uh, go out and support smoking these when they're in town. I know they're going to be uh, continuing with it. We'll be in the airport plane October 19th. We'll be competing there, so be sure to go by our stand and be giving up samples. Where is that? This will be at the uh, airport plane. Where is that? 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 Where is so that's what we'll be uh, October 19th. Go by and support us. Uh, you'll see the Purple Rain Sports banner and. So, how are you doing, sir? You want to run? Do you want to be part of the ask questions? Yes. Huh? Start with the rest of the day. Maybe I'm going to run. Go ahead. Man, we thought we actually thought we had something. <laughs> They wanted to say something. Uh, I mean, I was going to take questions for you. He turned He had one thing in his mind, and that was the year Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about horoscopes. That's our next game on Friday, September 13th, which is Friday the 13th, by the way. Yeah. Bob Castle played horoscope Tigers. Was that a cool day? So, what did you do to what? I don't know about y'all, but floors feel better. Take, take a watch because it's Friday the 13th and the Wildcats are coming to Canada. Now, I think you have to know Friday the 13th. Floors will is 0 2. They're always here at the moment. But they played against Curtis Morgan and they played against uh, Harlan Harlan. San Antonio Harlan on New Harlan. So that's a new school. They're actually ranked number five in San Antonio. So, you know, that's something else. But they're still six days. They're six days school. And Floors was a fighting school. So, and the way it's different for, for, to gauge how a uh, walk after doing, we will play another fighting school because uh, Martin was a fighting school. Now we'll play another fighting school. But oh, Martin, Martin was a fighting game one, Martin was a fighting game two. I think he had one of the best. Yeah. Boom. Uh, Martin is a B2. Yeah. Uh, Martin is a B1. Martin is a B1. Martin is a B1. You know, 5A, 6A, whatever they did. So they, they put it on a break. 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 You let them play over the field. That's all it is, right? That's all it is. It doesn't matter. But you can still be out there. We're going to support the Wildcats, and we're going to do it. Well, the Wildcats are going to play some Let me tell you the district that uh, Florida plays in. They play against Corpus Christi, Carolina, Port of Dr. Calhoun, Somerset, Gregory Portland, Atlas, Tonoso Midway, and San Antonio South. And uh, that's the district that Florida uh, plays, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good district. So we'll see how, how they do this Friday. And it's a good game. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying because I think it's a good game to see where we're at and what kind of tickets we have. That's that word gauge instead of what we're saying. You heard that word. Right? That's what every game is a test. Every game is a test. It's a standard. It's a standard, it's a standard you have to meet. A benchmark. But you know what? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to challenge everybody that listens to PRS podcasts and it goes to the you know football games. Guys, every Tuesday at 7 o'clock, Purple Rain Sport is going to be coming to you live from 5B Steakhouse every Tuesday. You know, every Tuesday we're going to be here. We challenge everybody. We invite everybody. Come out. Come sit in the park. Come taste the food. Come drink a drink. And challenge us. Bring us a question. Let us talk about whatever you feel like talking about. Wildcat fans, especially, you know, the Wildcat fans, the Wildcat fans, NFL football, college football, that's what we're going to do here. You know what, I'm going to change it up a bit. I'm going to change it up a bit. Now that y'all are bringing up, let's talk about more heaven. So, let me see. Let's talk about a couple of things. Antonio Brown, NFL. Oh. And what happened to the Texans last night? What happened? What happened to the Texans last night? Oh, well, well, the Steelers ain't going to say anything about them, but you know what? The Texans, 
by the come out every Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Join us. You are more than welcome. There's plenty of room. Come try the food. Come try the drink. Uh, it, we're, we're having a great time. Once again, we're having a great time because one of our platinum sponsors, Mr. Rick Dallas Winters, smoking the competition barbecue. Best of luck. Uh, dollar sponsoring. Thank you, sir. Another thing, another thing, go back to last year's meeting. What the tenure was, we had nine thousand in the yard. The three, three penalties for the yard for the local. That kind of hurt the walk at time. That, that hurts a lot. Any penalty is a very easy one. You know, but this is a new year. Exactly. That's true. You know, you you got to stay with the players. You got a you got strong young defense. And, you know, I'm really, 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 really curious to see what's going to happen out there with these stories. What, 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 my, I, no, 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 you know what? I'm really glad. And I will tell you guys that I have that one pick with y'all every time. So, is we would always put the Wildcats on our sneaky pick of the week. But there was people picking against the Wildcats. And we can't do that. We are PRS through in and throughout. So Wildcats across the board. Next game, the line at Southwest Legacy. Now, Southwest Legacy is a new school that used to be Southwest Dragons. They split. They split. You know, that's how many kids they have. But they, they've got to be split. And both of them are still 6'8". So, yeah. that was Southwest Legacy. And they just won their first game. They were, now all last year, they won all forever. Game. Yeah. They won their first two games of the season. So, now they're coming down the Vines going into, into Southwest to pay them. Um, and I, I picked I pick Southwest. I think Legacy is strong this year. They buy down to the team they, they used to be. So I think Southwest is going to win this game. Let's see. Well, we can tell us our circuit tonight. 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 But what do we didn't we didn't try to time it. Double change, double change, double change. Hooking it up, making sure everything's okay. It's not time to go to Spotify, so it's not lost on the the content of last night. And that's me. They don't have a lot of the year. We're going to bring that up, Zach. It was technical difficulties. And these things could be left on. Hey, everybody was looking out at the PRS. Uh, I, I said I was going to play. I said I was going to play. I apologize. I just, dude, you, you, <coughs> you know that. Thank you. If that would have been on any one of us, you would have called it out. No, we're not done yet. I was going to play. And uh, they forgot about me. Yo. The end of Sam Reeves said, hey, well, we didn't remember in the third second. Third second, we talked about you. Third second, third second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It was on the agenda. We can't, we can't stay from the, from the... We've been doing, we've been doing all day. I, I, I think somebody got cut. We needed somebody. Or, hey, we're set all night. You know what? Last week, I didn't get cold. Wait, wait, wait. When I edited it, when I edited it, dude, it was the most best flowing podcast we had done last week. Not much edited. Sadly, I lost the audio. That's all right. Sorry, dude. So, it never happened. Okay, so I'm going to go... Sosa and Alonso, Legacy, Sam, BD76, and the 51 pick, the very next game, Honda and Medina Valley. That one, that one to me was kind of a tough one. 
Because that, that's the one of the I'm going to be around the next That's the game. And, you know, I really think it's hard for me to go against the Medina Valley, but I'll tell you why I ain't going against him. Every time that I play the Medina Valley, when I play football, we lost. So I want Hondo to beat that. I'm going to let the Well, they don't have sauce anymore, sauce of that. I'm going to hold you coaches. Hold you coaches. I'm going to try to do it. Every time he went against the Medina Valley, he was lost. You know what? And that's what it's all about. Brothers, stand together. And, well, all that's going to matter because... Shake and make it, son. They can beat about these 2-0 and Hondo going too, so... <laughs> I went with and to play good beat about these. And they're playing... And the main reason for me also is because they're going to beat about these. Hey, y'all see the children on the corn? Out of five. Uh, yeah. That's like those guys over there. Uh, yeah. Corn They are playing the corn peas. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was back in the beat about these. Okay, hey, three more. Hey, no, this, this, next one, this next one perplexed me. We want to eat the last one we're around, and we only got one. I think there's a mistake on the next one. I don't know why I said we beat Pleasanton to beat Pearsall. I mean, yeah, Pearsall beat Pleasanton. Wow. But Sam was the one who picked it. I took this stats again. So I want to explain why. Why do you want to tell us why you picked Pearsall over Pleasanton? I picked Pearsall over Pleasanton. Because Jordan beat that ass on the field. Not this year. Did they play him like the whole season? Oh, last year's stats. Not even then, though. You could play. Even if Jordan beat Pleasant this year. 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 Jordan beat Pleasant I mean, my picture is all because these young people are very pleasant. <laughs> so, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next game. Zapata versus somebody else. Zapata, all the way across the board. Zapata, right? all across the board. Zapata. Somebody else don't matter. You know what, right? somebody else don't matter. The team that's 10 miles to the north. Well, playing Zapata, well, don't play Zapata, whatever, whatever. Now, of course, uh, we have to give a shout out to the, to the little boy from, uh, the player from uh, uh, that team from the North, uh, number 71, uh, 71 the thing. And I said in the last podcast, like I said, I lost the audio. You were here? Yeah. He was a great kid, he was a great kid, he was a little boy, number 71. Uh, he had a pretty bad concussion, a uh, severe concussion, I think he was far off in the end of it. The man who was transferred. By, by uh, okay, so, you know, for public sports, it doesn't matter what town you are It's about the kids. It's about the kids that are out on the field. So we want to give a shout out to that young man. We hope that you had a, a, a full and good recovery. And, uh, you know, we'd like to see you back out on the field. Because, you know, Carrizo, Carrizo, Carrizo City, Oh, the top of the world, I'm sorry. That's a rivalry game. We want to have the best players out there on the field. So, shout out to the guy that we know. Good recovery. 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 Other, 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 of course, other, 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 they're not ranked that high, and I think actually Pontus pretty good this year, he's better than what they've been in the first year, so I think we, that's why we put six for two practices. Next game, Jordanton at the prior. Now, normally we'll be going to the prior, well I would be, but I want to uh, send a special shout out to the Jordanton squad, which is my niece, Mia Cook. He's a uh, sixth grader now in the, the spirit squad. Is that how you feel? So, uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, she ain't playing? She's Randy Cook's daughter. Randy Cook's daughter. That's right. Randy and Randy Cook's daughter. So that's why I'm going to the uh, I have my reasons to go get some pride. And I'll leave it at that level for a while. What does it do? What does it score 60 points of the team? But the thing is not big. What about the team? The pride got beat. Like, the last couple of days. 
Yeah. Um, I don't know if I saw the final thing in the second um, they were tearing it up. Yeah, you guys two games, they gave me that they gave me last beat. So the price? Why why are you pick the price? Oh, just because it's Tuesday. <laughs> Tomato tomorrow. Right. That's right. Alright. Okay. It doesn't matter. Next game. Now we still we still the college game. We're still Yeah, because after this past week where we had a big matchup Clemson and Texas LSU, we actually had a really good matchup. I don't know why now this week they're actually going back to uh, Yeah, Texas is playing Rice, uh A is playing Lamar. Uh, a good game would have been Texas State. Yeah, what happened the uh, Revenge of the Murder? Texas yeah. State's gonna play uh, SMU, and it's a 50-50 shot in that game. You say Lamar? Not Lamar, the track. Oh, this is the University of Texas Lamar. Yeah. For me, Lamar, I'm going to say it's a piece of it. Alright, guys. Anyway, so we're going to start with the college. Now we're going to the first game we're picking against with is the Seattle Seahawks going against my first first year. Uh, it was, you know, I, I, I did it last year, I went against them, and I'm doing it again. We just got an unexpected reputation to start the team now. But, I'll go back to what we say about the Wildcats. It's better to start off getting your butts really quick, and then you learn from it, you move on, and start it off good, and then you lose it in the, in the long run. Because, I'll tell you what, we're going to get into a little bit with the Cowboys in the next game, but... Cowboys are excited about the Steers, I mean about the Super Bowl. Well, uh, we're going to get into that. Yeah, we're going to get into that. So, obviously, myself and Sosa we take the Steers. And, and one of those things is, we're playing our first home game. They just got the Bucks. I don't think that it's going to happen twice in a row. Especially if it doesn't happen. But, my hand is for the Steelers. Seattle hasn't built that much of a road team. So that's why I think I'm going to see that. It's more of a 50-50 shot with the Steelers. I think it's time to go. I'm going to go with the whole team, and I'm going to go with the fact that the Steelers go or Ben Roethlisberger doesn't lose back-to-back games. Because he's going to be in that matchup. So I'm going to go with the Steelers. I'm going to go with the Steelers. I'm going to go with the Steelers. So you can develop 30 or whatever. That's what it means. That's what we're going to switch out the whole thing. You know, now, if the Steelers have played some kind of game against the Patriots, then they'll be able to run the third game. Yes, sir. I'm not going to do it. 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 i but in this case, no, I'm not going to do that because of the game against the Patriots. I'm going to give it a high to the Patriots tonight. I don't want to give it a game next week. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Let's go on to the next one where the myopic fans are going to think that every first down gets on the Super Bowl. Why do you have to use the Patriots? This works, but I'm not. Myopic means one who tends to see things as a dollar. Well, across the board. Can you spell that fucking thing? And one who tends to see Dallas Cowboys. Had the Washington Redskins. Uh, across the board, we picked the Cowboys. Now, but, I, I was on the fence. I was on the fence. I was on the fence on the team. Yeah, I was thinking of going to the Redskins. I, I, I thought I saw the Redskins with the Eagles. And they did actually pretty good. They usually picked them on the Super Bowl. Carson Wentz was coming into the ball. Uh, he brought back the Eagles to win. Uh, so I think those two, I think the division is going to be picked by the Redskins. Yeah. But I think I, I went with the Cowboys because. I said, I don't believe in the quarterback in the rest of the game. It's a quarterback situation for the rest of the game. I guess it's a good thing for the Cowboys. I believe in the Cowboys. That's what was my opinion. So I had to go back and go with the Cowboys. And then again, too, the rivalry. The rivalry doesn't matter. It is. What's there in the season of the rest of the game? No, I'm serious. I know, but still, it's one of those things where they're all mess. It's the rivalry. You know what? I have to tell you another story. That is about the Cowboys and the Wildcats. But then this is a true story. A true story. True story. Okay. So, last week I was buying a copy of the local business, Best Hot Ones in Town, 
Und ich war das dazu schon mit einem Ergebnis. Ja, ich war auch. 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 I have to know what's the problem thing in the news because it's not amusing. All I said was, it's not about winning the news, it's about supporting the team in your town. And I told him, he's a big time, he's a big time out there, he's a big time Cowboys fan. And I told him, you can watch in the Cowboys every Sunday because they haven't gone since 1993. 95 or whatever year, I think they don't actually sit down with one since the 90s. And he goes, you know what, you're right. And the, the, the funny thing about it was that the people that were sitting there in the little restaurant started laughing because they knew that I had a good point. So I told him, so why is it that you still watch the Cowboys play and they haven't done anything, but you want to watch the local team play? Now I'm going to go over because you're really ready for somebody that's on the team. So we have to see this whenever these Cowboys, you know, win one game, uh, 50, you know, they make it like they're Super Bowl champions. So we got to see that on Facebook, on all social media, we got to see all this, all this uh, talk and um, text messages, memes and, and excitement of rings and belts and, and then next week they're going to lose. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, to God, and God short, we got to come by and true story. The last podcast I said, that I was going to go to HEB at what time? Noon. Game time. When the Cowboys are playing. Yeah. 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 I promise you, my wife and I were walking from the car with the front door, took my quickly step, my phone went off, I looked at it, and the text message said from Brian in 51, hey, are you at HEB? Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I promise you, I took a picture of what it was at that time, and HEB was like a ghost town. There you go. Nobody was there. But I will tell you that if you are a Cowboys fan, wait till about two weeks after the season to go to HEB, because all the stuff is going to be on the Just like the Toledo. All the Cowboys stuff is Go over there. Tell you guys right now, you want to buy the Cowboys stuff for next year, next year, you're going to go here, go two weeks after the season, it's going to be a good year. Don't forget to leave it though. With two things that you mentioned so familiar, I've been wondering why the Purple Rain Sports, that's very brilliant for some of the... My opposite. My opposite. What I've been saying is, personal sports is about the Wildcats, sports, and about positivity. That's what we want big boys to do a trade in the most of the Wildcats. So what I'm going to say right now, if you guys or somebody out there is going to put something negative about the Wildcats and anybody on the Wildcats players, be, be for your own personal gain or for your own personal humor or whatever. You know what? We don't need none of that stuff. We're, we're, we're going to get bigger. We're going to block you. We're going to keep you from our website. And we're going to keep you. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but you don't have to put something negative in your brain. These are big. These are our problems. You want to complain about us and what we're doing? Yeah, we're not asking you. We can do it. But the thing is, is that. These kids are going to be a, a big shot to learn again. There he is. The very small, very much larger. It's very small. Well, you want to take right back. Anyway, so if you need to take right back.
thing because you can be able to put your personal crap and your negative stuff on our website. Crap crop. We're going to get rid of it because we don't see it. So keep it out of our website. Keep it positive. We're proud about the love. We're about the unity. That's something wrong with the place. So keep your stuff, your crap, out of the place. Thank you very much. Sam, how would you like to come on? Sam, I made you last week. We did this? Yes. Well, you <laughs> know, <laughs> Jaguars and the Texans. You know, Jaguars, I don't know if you saw this last week's game, were really out of character. Well, more out of character than normal. They were sick and fights, they were starting fights. Quarterback was down. Hey, you come back and move this. Bring in. Josh Dodd. Oh, yeah. Josh Dodd. Are y'all doing okay? Yeah. You can have a couple of little cat goals. Uh, cross the board, Texans. Uh, except one hater. Oh, except one. Oh, we're good. Who's the hater here? We're good. Brian Pettis picked the Jaguar. Well, I'll be honest with you. I picked the Jaguar. Then Nick Earl from the Dallas, then the Texans did a really good game. And the Texans had a play deal when you picked them? The Texans had a play deal when you picked them? The Texans had a play deal when you picked them? Yes, but I was like, I'm not going to see the future. I can see the future with the big ass glasses. What the laugh? What the laugh? What the fuck? What the laugh? So I knew really that the Texans were going to put this win on. That's what we know. Wow. Hey, what's the game? Come on down now. Five beans, think of it. That's a great. If you want that experience to the last time, you need to weigh on down to five beans. I have a leak with five He does. He sure does. Okay. Next game is. Next week, we're going to go. And, and those of y'all that, that have followed PRS throughout the years know that we added the Chicago Bears for our final sponsor. Mr. Rick that I wrote the smoking meat competition running. You know, the Bears have the best defense in my eyes in all of NFL. You know, it, 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 it kind of doesn't reflect anything because if you're not familiar with sports, you kind of just see the bottom line, which is the final score. But, you know, things happen throughout games that are groups. Uh, the Bears are playing lights out on their defense. Man, I had Mitchell Trubisky as my backup Chinese the quarterback because I drafted him because of last year I really thought he was going to be so I really think he was going to be But my, my, my choice for this week between the Bears and Broncos is going to be the Bears because they, they're going to turn that around to the second game. The defense is going to take over and they're going to I think we all picked the Bears with like one person, one hater, one, one, I don't know why he picked the Broncos. Well, there's all people who hate, but I did send a text message uh, yesterday, which was too late already, and I'm like, you know what, I really want to change my pick from the Broncos to the Bears, but it was too late, so, you know what, if, 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 if the Bears win, you know what, if it is what it is, I don't know. I'll take it again, I'll take the five. If that's the tiebreaker one, because I really wanted to pick the Bears after I saw the game. You saw the primer on the day, and I was like, uh, hey, so, so basically, I didn't want to pick you in the face. But, you know, the, but what are you doing when you pick the Bears? So, that's like, what are the Packers in the Bears? I really thought the Bears, I was like, you know what, the Bears are good. But then I thought the Broncos, I was like, oh, God. I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, was, guys, with that, we're going to go ahead and take our third commercial break. Stay with us. We're going to be doing all four of us thinking pick of the week. Stay with us. It's going to be fun. We'll be right back. Uh-huh. Welcome back to Broadway Sports Season 4, Episode 3. It's, it's about that time, folks. Uh, Stating pick of the week, unfortunately there was four of us that all picked the same, which means we all suck. I did. 
Man, if we had a one game, one game. One or hundred champions. One or hundred you win. It's all right. Well, whatever. Once again, PRS would like to give a special happy birthday shout out to Miss Annette Reyes and Miss Monica Taylor who wanted to come to 5D and celebrate their birthday with their friends and family and at Purple Ring Sports. So a big birthday shout out from Purple Ring Sports, which they're going to be helping us out. On this day. And then Mr. Rick de la Fuente wanted to especially get on Sanchez. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. He picked the Broncos to beat the Bears. Oh, and yeah. you can see he's wearing all there. So you're going to cover up. Yeah, you're coming out. Yeah, yeah. Right. Come on back, back up there. Back up a little bit for the camera. I can take a head start, right? All right. Hey, hey, what's what's it is? You're missing out on all the fun. You're not here. We invite everybody to come out to Flying Deep Steakhouse. On Tuesdays, around 7 o'clock, we get the fire. Oh, so, once again, a big happy birthday to the girls for joining us. So, it's that time, folks. Stay in the Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, Hey, Rick, I heard. Hey, I will tell you that they had a little bit of a. So, thank you for joining us. Season 4, Episode 3. We look forward to next week's game with the Thornville Tigers. Thank you for joining us. Good podcast. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.